Gemini, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. I am no longer putting dates on these readings because people from months ago are still relating to videos. So um, it comes to you when it's supposed to come to you. But there is a video that I put out, a Gemini video, every single week. I do weekly energy check-ins. So if you want them fresh off the press, please subscribe to the channel, help the channel grow, and ring that bell so that you know when everything is uploaded and you can get it as soon as it's made. All right? Fresh is always best, baby. Um, Gemini, this is the Oracle card reading. It's an energy reading. It's not a horoscope. So it doesn't matter where Gemini is influencing your natal chart, sun, moon, rising, wherever, Mars, Venus, Mercury, it's Gemini energy. So you can apply this energy to wherever Gemini influences your natal chart. If it doesn't fit, don't squeeze it. You don't want to break it. We're going to start here with the Oracle card reading, full energy read, and then I always offer an extended video. That link is in the description box below. What that includes is a full tarot card articulation of this energy reading. It's deeper, it's more specific, and it's a little bit more personal. Um, that also includes the romance reading as well. The Romantic Tarot is a free romance reading if you want to know what's coming towards you as well. I do that reading too. Um, you know, Gemini, I just have this feeling like you don't want to be bothered this week. Yeah. An I-D-G-A-F kind of feeling. Um, but there's a peace kind of behind it. If that makes any sense at all, there's a peace to it. There's an, there's an, I don't give up because I'm happy, because I'm good over here doing my own thing, whether or not other people approve or want to join in, up to them. Um, there could be some, I want to get into the cards before I talk anymore, because there could be some, some energy of, um, Inquiry, almost inquiry, like somebody making inquiries into you or about you. Now, who that somebody or, or is or why they're doing it, that's for the cards to tell or reveal. Interesting. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Energy, Gemini. All right, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. You ready? Let's go. Gemini. Gemini, Gemini. Yep. Crowning your energy. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah. You're not proving anything to anybody. You have no concern about proving anything to anybody. You know your focus and you know your direction. This is the energy of Cancerian. Uh, it's a matured energy, almost like I related to the King of Cups because it's, it's um, feeling good in yourself, in your own emotions, like having the emotions. It doesn't matter if the emotions are raging or if the emotions are calm you feel comfortable about them because you're satisfied with who you are and you have a full, complete, whole sense of self-worth. Not anybody can approach you and quite honestly, you're not really interested in anybody approaching you. You're into your own thing. Tortoise, this the turtle, if you remember the um, old fable of the tortoise and the hare, the tortoise ended up winning the race and the reason why he did so was because not, not, it's not slow or fast, it's focus, right? The tortoise was focused on the race, on the race itself, on enjoying the actual doing of the race, of preparing for the race and enjoying the race itself. What was the hare focused on? The hare was focused on the tortoise. That's what the hare's whole story was about. Oh, I'm going to beat him. I'm better than him. I'm faster than him. I could, I could fall asleep and still, and still win. The hare was constantly focused on somebody else. Well, the tortoise was focused on himself. And that's what I'm talking about. 
it's a, it's a sense of peace that's inside of you this week. It's got nothing to do with laziness or lethargy or I don't care, I don't give up. It's not that so much as it is a, a real crisp sense of focus, a clarity of purpose that is just making you happy and making you content. And I kind of like that energy for you. This is an energy of six plus two, which is eight, which is destiny. You've got, you've fallen into the destiny stream. You know exactly where it's taking you. You're trusting where you go. You're trusting the flow. You might actually be traveling too. You might actually be going places, going, going, just going somewhere, changing, changing pace, uh, swimming in those beautiful, cool waters, baby. Yeah, someplace where you're comfortable. I feel there's a lot of comfort around you right now. Whether you've returned home or you're far from home, your soul feels at home where you are. But I do feel like there's a journey. There's some sort of journey that you're going on. Uh, nothing is wasted. The energy of 63, which adds up to 9. Something is coming to a head. And I think that that is that practicality of purpose, of not wasting any more time or letting any more time pass you by, of living every moment and being present in the current moment and not looking too far into the future and definitely not thinking about the past and finding treasure where once you, other things might have been discarded, time might have been discarded, uh, memories might have been discarded, whatever comes up, Whatever comes up to remind you, whatever's coming up to the surface now, whatever you're discovering about yourself, about your feelings, or about people's feelings for you, you, you have this wonderful practical way of applying them and feeding yourself with them. Trust in the magic, but this is turned upside down. So this isn't a sense of something new beginning. It's not a new start. It's actually more of a drawing to a conclusion. So um, what does that mean? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going. Trust in the magic. Because there is no, it's not stall though. There's not a stall. It's, it's something coming to an end. A particular interest in something. A particular trial, a particular fight or hardship is coming to a close, coming to a conclusion. And there's a truth coming out. Something is being revealed. Something that might even have kept secret. Piscean season is revealing um, it's, re it's, it's, it's letting you go. It's almost releasing you from a contract. This is wolf spirit, but it's flipped upside down. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Hmm. It's like my moon card. So this is Piscean energy. Of uncovering something. Oh, that's it. It's, it's uncovering something that you'd wanted to discover for a long time, but once you discover it, you realize you don't really want it. It's you're done. You're done with it. It's over. Embrace the in-between. Six plus two equals eight. This, this is destiny. Once again, 26 and 62, eight, eight. Destiny is falling. You are really, there's, there's tropics all around you. There's this feeling of being like wrapped in warmth and beauty. It's like you want, you're, you're choosing to surround yourself in beauty right now. Outwardly. You're, you're, you're putting yourself in an outward environment that simulates what you eventually want to absorb inside of you because you're done with everything that came beforehand, right? It's almost like, and don't take this wrong because I'm not saying it in it, in a derogatory fashion, Gemini, you'd em you're empty. You're, em you're empty now. And what you want to fill yourself up on is just like let somebody else handle the reality. Let somebody else make the decisions. Let somebody else invent and create. Let it be, let it be all around me and let me just sit here and absorb it because I need other people to do the thinking right now. It's like you're taking a break from your responsibilities as a Gemini. That's kind of what it is. 
is like you're just giving into the retrograde and saying, okay, then let it be. Let me, let me disappear for a while. Let me not be seen for a while. You're not in hiding. You're not. You're just almost in stasis and really loving it because you needed the break. Armadillo spirit, set healthy boundaries. I think this is the goal of the whole purpose of your retreat is to learn where you need to stop people, where you need to put up fences, where you need to put up gates, where you need to put up Berlin walls, and where you need to put up nothing at all, or where you need to put up screens so you can still see through and the breeze can still come through, but the flies don't get in. It's like trying to reestablish your relationship with boundaries because you feel it because of the oh my god downtrodden like tread all over me stamp on my leg wipe your dirty boots on me kind of like how did I let myself get there I'm just getting out of that situation now if you look at last week's reading I'll attach it above 11 11 a sense of awakening awakening to not the like letting go of the impulses that you normally would have to attempt to control the circumstance of the situation to attempt to manipulate the situation and be amused by it. you're not amused by it anymore you're not amused because something backfired so big you're still recovering from the shrapnel there's still too much pain that was really obvious or made obvious or became the pervasive um sort of sensory input that you remember when you remember trying to, you know, be one step ahead of the game all the time. And you're not, you're like, no, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm, let them come to me. Let them come to me. And then I'll make a decision. I'll decide. Armadillo, he usually gives me this energy of something that's so heavy. This is defensive Cancerian energy. This is hiding right? Hiding heavy, heavy, feeling weighted down by the burdens. So part of you still feels extreme, extremely burdened. And that's taught you a lesson that's actually helped you transcend your natural tendencies. Grasshopper, take a leap of faith. You're going blind right now. Plus there's fortune all around you. There's a lot of abundance and happiness. Greenness, green growth. I see you in a very colorful, bright, beautiful place, right? And, and this could be in your dreams. This could be you just putting your feet up at home in a staycation. But I feel you insisting on beauty and aesthetics outside of you right now. Um... Because you need to recover. You're literally in recovery. And you're going day by day. You're just, you're, you're taking a leap of faith in the process itself. And in somebody else's guidance, you're saying, hey, you make the decisions. Give with gratitude and grace. Nope. If this is it, you... You have memories of being led to the slaughter. You know what it feels to be hacked up into bits and have your limbs eaten for dinner. So divided and then subdivided again and being a feast and suckling for other people, you're like, you can't do that anymore. You're done. You're done. You're not giving to anybody. You're taking. But it's more an absorption. It's not a taking back. You're allowing yourself to develop and grow and fatten up. Be loyal to what you love. So this is an energy of, um, this is grounding. Your grounding energy is an energy in reverse that I don't like because this is usually a backstabbing energy. An energy of being betrayed. Somebody that really pretended to be loyal to you. One plus nine is 10. You're over with, it's done. This is a den end, ended situation, it's over, but it lingers as a foundation for the way that you see the world now. Watch and wait, watching very carefully. I think you're still got your eyes on this person. 
you're not interested in, in them, but you're interested in what they're going to do because you still don't trust them. You know that they might have still have some tricks under their sleeve. This is an energy of eight. Once again, at the center of your energy is eight, eight, eight. There is fate and there is destiny here. In other words, Gemini, there is purpose to your pain. There is a reason why you went through this that, that's even beyond you. Be generous of spirit has come out. This is 10, taking back your power and reassuming your place as the king of the jungle. This is Leo energy. So getting yourself back into this feeling of who you are. Remember, Simba, who you are. That's the energy. Remember who you are, Gemini. And what your place is in this world and also public recognition and how the public sees you. You know, and it may not be the public as in the general public. It could just be family, friends, a group of friends. If you lost them or everybody turned their back on you when you went through a breakup. It's like they got the friends, you know. That kind of energy of, of no, 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 no. You're reclaiming your sense of power. You're reclaiming a sense of who you are. And you don't need to belong anywhere right now because you're showing the world that you're just fine on your own. You don't need the group approval. You don't even need the group to see you right now, but it's coming back. There's that sense of fullness of self, of being very, very certain. The more you look back, the more you look into and see the actions of this poor person that was very, very... Um, disloyal um that's actually filling you up it's regenerating your energy inside making you feel really a lot better about yourself even if nobody else sees it the more you see what they are the better you feel about who you are and you get your sense of power back because this person really raked you across the goals and this is piscean energy too this energy of like patriarchal fathering, being a father, watching somebody grow, but you're watching somebody grow and, and grow into their own punishment. Almost you're watching, you're standing back and watching somebody finally starting to eat the poison that they tried to feed to you. You're not, you're not serving the poison. You're just watching as it's finally revealed and you're not going to do anything to stop it. Why? Because it's filling you with delight and happiness. Damn. Revenge is a dish best served cold. And boy, oh boy, is it chilly up in here. Let me flip the camera. Hold on. And here we are. Eight. Right down the center, eight, eight, eight. Adding up six plus two, two plus six, and five plus three. Destiny and fate, evolving, evolution, getting your strength back. This was all supposed to come to be. It was all supposed to come to pass. What you've been experiencing, including your being able to sit back and watch it. And listen, you're not only watching it because you're like licking your lips at another person's pain. You're watching it because it's reminding you every single day of the stupid mistakes that you made to even let that person into your world. And as you review, you get wiser and you feel better about the changes that are happening to you because you realize and recognize, yes, that person was a piece of you know what, but I also chose them. So what does that say about me? And why did I do that? And that humbling sense of, okay, I get it now. I get it now and I get how, where I have to change. And I'm just going to go forth and let the world feed me for right now. Because all my focus has to be in changing, allowing these changes to happen. These, this evolution to happen to me, to, for me to grow. And so I will never let a person like this into my world again. Um, I'm going to go over into the extended, extrapolate more details from the situation and see what's to come. The romance reading is going to be over there too, Gemini. 
That link is below in the description box. I'll see you over there.